the underdogs are riding a new wave of momentum in the presidential race. Bernie Sanders and Ted Cruz had big wins in Wisconsin, slowing down frontrunners Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Sanders beat Clinton by 14 points in Tuesday Democratic primary, 57 to 43 percent. Cruz won 48 percent of the Republican vote, beating Trump by double digits. John Kasich finished a distant third. Cruz picked up most of Wisconsin's 42 GOP delegates. His victory makes it more likely that no Republican candidate will have enough delegates to lock up the nomination before that convention in July. Major Garrett is in Milwaukee with Cruz's important win. Major, good morning. Good morning. Donald Trump misread Wisconsin voters badly, predicting victory when all credible evidence pointed to defeat. As the hunt for delegates intensifies, the GOP frontrunner is on something of a losing streak. For his part, Ted Cruz described his victory as a turning point and said it proves Trump is no longer, if he ever was, the inevitable nominee. God bless the great state of Wisconsin. Ted Cruz added a big Wisconsin victory to a recent sweep of delegate gains. When Colorado and Wyoming finish voting, we are likely to have gained over 100 delegates on Donald Trump. Yeah. Cruz vowed he would win the GOP nomination outright. He just didn't say when. Either before Cleveland or at the convention in Cleveland, Together, we will win a majority of the delegates. Donald Trump campaigned outside Milwaukee early on Election Day. I hear the polls are busy, huh? They are busy. We could have a big surprise tonight, folks. But left town before the polls closed, issuing only this defiant statement, arguing the double-digit law showed Trump had, quote, withstood the onslaught of the establishment yet again. Cruz, the campaign said, is worse than a puppet. He is a Trojan horse being used by the party bosses to steal the nomination. Trump's loss represents the depth of party divisions, at least in Wisconsin. More than one in three Republican voters said they'd be scared if Trump were elected president, according to CBS News exit polls, while more than 70 percent of Trump supporters said they'd back a third party candidate if Cruz won the nomination. Still, Cruz promised to bring the party together in the general election. Hillary, get ready. Here we come. Cruz, Cruz benefited here from the endorsement of a popular Republican government, the support of influential conservative talk radio personalities, and super PAC ads attacking Trump. Cruz will not have those advantages in New York, which votes in two weeks. And, Gail, it's where the Cruz campaign is already managing, and that means lowering expectations. All right, Major, thank you very much.